What's up guys, my name is Dari and I hope that you have a wonderful day. In this video, I want to focus on the many-to-many -many relationship. Now compared to the other relationships, I'd say that a many-to-many -many relationship is probably a bit more complex. So let me show you a little example right there. We have our table cars and a new table called products. A car brand can have multiple products. Think about automobiles, electric vehicles, automotive parts, luxury vehicles, pickup trucks. Each product type can be related to many cars. Audi and Mercedes can both be an automobile or an electric car. In fact, they are both an automobile. So what would you do? Would you keep our current table cars and add a product ID? And for a products table, add a car ID? Since a single product can't have a column cars ID and a single car can't have a product type ID, because remember, we need to create a many-to-many -many relationship. What we have on the screen does not work. So let me show you a better solution. What we need to create is something which is called a pivot table. And right now you might be wondering what a pivot table is. It's a table that connects the two tables. So we still keep our table cars and we also add our table products and we don't link them, but in between we place a pivot table. Now for the naming of our pivot table, I prefer to place the two singular table names together ordered alphabetically and separated them by an underscore. So since we're linking our cars and products together, our pivot table should be car underscore product. You don't need to pass in any strings as the data type. You only want to pass in the ID of the car and the ID of the product. Now that I've showed you a demo, let's hop to the CLI and let's create a new migration and model. First, we need to create one for our product. So let's say PHP artisan make me a model called product-m. Let's go to our migration. Let's actually open it up. All right. We want to keep our table name products. We don't want to change our table name. Products is fine. We want to keep our ID. Well, let's actually change it to increments. Let's give it a name of ID. And in here, I want another column, which is a string called name. And I also want to keep my timestamps. And that's it. We don't need more. So let's save it. Let's go to iTerm and let's write down PHP artisan migrate. Our migration has been created. Now for the pivot table, we do need a model and migration as well. The model is there to interact and the migration is there to create our table. So right here, we could say PHP artisan make me a model called car product dash M. All right, let's open the migration as well. Let me scroll down. And in here, we need to create two columns for the IDs that we need. So let's get rid of the first. The first column is an integer called car underscore ID, and it's unsigned. Let's actually duplicate it because the second one is our product underscore ID, which is unsigned as well. Now here comes a pretty weird part. Both our car ID and product ID are foreign keys. So what we could do is to say table foreign, let's say car underscore ID, references to ID on the table cars and on the lead cascaded. Let's end it with a semicolon. Let's copy it and let's paste it right here. Let's change the second one to product underscore ID. References ID on products and on the lead cascade everything. Now, before we migrate it, Laravel will automatically define your table name. Sometimes you just want to define your own table name. So let's change our table name to car underscore product. Save it. Let's run PHP artisan migrate. Our table has been migrated. Now let's go to MySQL. Let's say show tables. We have our car underscore product and our products. Let's desk products to add it. So what we want to do is to insert into only the column name, the values, let's say electric vehicles. Insert into my bad products name and the values is electric vehicle. All right. Let's hit the arrow up. Let's add another row called automobiles. And let's add the arrow up one more time to add luxury cars. 
Now, if we select everything from our table products, we have three new values in here, which is all right. And let's also select all from cars. So our car has an ID of one and our products has three new IDs. So what we could do is to insert into car underscore product. Let's say car underscore ID, product underscore ID. The values are one comma two. So Audi is an automobile. Let's hit enter. Let's say that Audi is also a luxury car. All right. Let's also add a new car in our database. So insert into cars. Let's say the name, founded, description, values are Mercedes, 1926. And let's say this is my Mercedes for my description. All right. Select all from cars again. What we could do is to basically hit up again because we want to insert into car product. The car ID is apparently seven, as you could see. Let's say that Mercedes is a automobile and a luxury car. So let's say two, arrow up and three. All right, we're ready to define our relationships right now. So let's go to Visual Studio Code. Let's go to our car.php. Let's create a new function, public function products. In here, we want to return variable this, all the products that belong to a specific car, so belongs to many, which takes one param and that's the product model. So let's say product, colon, colon, class. Let's save it. Let's close off our migrations because we don't need it. Let's go to our cars controller and let me show you how we could print stuff out. Now, right below our variable car, let's say far underscore dump. Let's say variable car products. Save it. Let's go to Google Chrome, refresh the page, and you can see an entire list of data inside our collection. What we could do is to say command F or control F, and let's write down pivot. You can see that we indeed return data from a pivot table. And like I said, just like the has many relationship, we get access to a collection right here of the related items, but this time it's from both sides. So from the cars and from the products. So what I want to do right now is to print it right in the UI, nothing fancy, but just to show you how we could print it out. So let's go to our show.blade.php again. And let's go right at the bottom above our HR. Let's say paragraph. Let's give it a class of text left. Let's say product types. Let's create a for else loop. We want to loop over car, but all products as one single product. If there is a product, let's print it out. So product name. Otherwise, create a paragraph and let's say no car product description or something. Save it. Let's go to our cars controller. Let's get rid of our far dump. Save it. Google Chrome. Refresh the page. And the products types are automobiles and luxury cars. Next to the many to many relationship, there's also an inverse many to many relationship. We have only printed data from one side, so from the cars. Since I haven't got a UI where to print out the product types, I want to show it to you right in the controller. So before we do that, we need to create our relationship inside our product.php. So right here, let's say public function cars. We want to relate our cars to the product. So we want to return this belongs to many car. It takes one param, which is the car colon colon class. Save it. Let's hop to our cars controller. Right inside of the show method, we could create a new instant called products and let's set it equal to new product. And what I want to do is to find data from this specific car. So we want to pass in the ID. Oh, excuse me, we don't need new. My bad. Let's print underscore products. Save it. Go to Chrome. Refresh the page. 
and we have an object of product with every piece of data that we need that is related from our product to our cars. Like I said before, the many-to-many -many relationship is unique because it's the first relationship that has a pivot table. Now this was it for this video. If you do enjoy my content and you want to see more, leave this video a thumbs up and if you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button.